good evening folks this is Sean with an iPad 7 a 2197 <clears throat> this is not charging it does not turn on obviously because it also probably has a well it does have a dead battery I actually have done some diagnostics on already on it but I'll do it again just just for fun, you know. Let me send a message to all the platforms, letting them know that I am here, and I will take chats. Like, I will try to answer chats, because I don't get a whole lot of them. That's okay. I will take your chat, folks. I will try to respond. And I appreciate whoever does come on here. Just stop by, say hello. I don't expect anybody to watch the whole thing. Because quite frankly, when I, when I watch these afterwards, I find it boring. I can't imagine what people think about them. Looks like we're all online and ready to go. Right, hopefully this won't be long. It's almost already midnight. My family's asleep, and I need to sleep too. But I promised this guy, he's been waiting. I promised him he'd be done soon. I, but I can't promise I'm going to fix it right now. I I might not. I might not fix it. Right now, anyway. I can try. What I am going to do is I'm going to try to diagnose it a little more than I already have. But I'll do the basics. So when a customer comes and tells me that a device isn't charging, the first thing I do is make sure that they're using a good charger and a good cord because I have had customers they show me the cord and it just looks a mess um, you need the cord you probably can't see this too well and we're not gonna it's not gonna focus is it you need the cord that has the gold connectors if it's not gold no good and it needs to look good be clean uh, yeah I've had customers show up with their stuff, and it's just, and I put my, I plug it up to my stuff, boom, starts charging right away, no problem. So that's the first thing we do. You just check and see if it'll charge using my charger and cord. We're at a little over five volts, and we're gonna plug it up here. I don't know if you can see, this thing's hard to see. You can kind of see that a little bit. We're at, so we're at five volts, let's see, and zero amps, obviously, nothing's plugged in. We're gonna plug it up right now. We're getting 0.4 amps, 0.7, we're getting one amp. Folks, um, I'm gonna tell you something this thing wasn't charging. Is it what's, is it doing it now? It's charging. It's charging. Or is it is it boot looping? I think it's I think it's just boot looping. Yeah there's a problem. It's going from one amp, well it's boot looping so See, it's at one, and then it kind of turns off. It's, it's basically turning on and off. I'm, I'm watching it. I'm watching it. You got to watch the amps and see what the see what the amps do. The amps will tell you quite a bit. So see, it goes to it goes to nothing, which is basically turning off, and it goes to point four. And it goes to one amp, and it looks like it's trying to kick on, and it just reboots. Boom! That's a reboot, cause that those amps go to zero. That's a hard reboot. So it's basically hard rebooting. There's a chance that 
this just needs to be refreshed like just with a new operating system I've seen that before um, let's see if we can get this thing into into um, a safe mode I swear folks I, I took this I I'm telling you listen I took this dude's I took whoa it's turning on what wait no no wait is it off wait what happened sorry that I just showed his kid's face but probably couldn't see it that well anyway I didn't think it was going to turn on um let's see it's charging yeah it's turning on and off That's what he told me. I, ha I wrote down in here not charging. But it seems to be. I'm sorry, I, just, I know this looks boring. I, I'm seeing what it's doing. I'm watching to see what it's doing. I got. I can look at this thing. It's hard to see it in the monitor. See, it goes to one amp. See, then it kind of turns on. Yeah, it's turning on and off. Hmm. And the amps are going all over the place. It's going from zero to point six to point five, and then point two. So right now it's. it's it's going up to it's going up to point it's going up to one looks like see now it kind of is on so like it's on now I can see a picture and then it just turned off so zero now it's like back on again I doubt this is a software issue seriously doubt it's a software issue something something is awry I don't know what it is hmm yeah see this this is kicking all over the place this is going all over the place I'm sorry there's not a clear picture of this um I don't know if I'm going to be able to even put this in DFU mode. I don't think so, because this is just rebooting. It's definitely some kind of power issue or something going on. I guess I could try. I'm going to try here. You know what? I wonder if it's this home button that's stuck or something. It feels gummy. Nah, probably not. Sorry, this is boring, folks. Just trying to see if it stays on. No, I don't think so. No, it's not working. I think we're going to have to open it up. Yeah, I think we're going to have to open it up. Um, yeah. It's just not, it's just not happening. It's not happening. I am going to have to at least open it. So this might be a video on how to open your iPad. Yeah, it's just kind of rebooting. Oh. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work. Okay, um, let's, okay. So, next step. 
Okay, here's a go ahead and open it. If we can figure out what's going on. Because it might... I, I, I don't know. Honestly, I'm not that good at the board board issues on these things. I'm not. I'm just not there. Um, I try. I try. And I'm just not that good. Like these other dudes and, and ladies on on here. See, it booted up. Yeah, and it turned off again. It's just kind of like sometimes it'll boot all the way and it'll turn off. Well, it'll reboot. So let's just open this up. Um, let's try and plug the Hydra tester into this and just see if we can f see anything at all. I don't really totally trust these, but um, it's, it's it's a decent indicator. I mean, you know, you know, if it says it's bad, I mean, you can at least kind of start there. Yeah. Let's see if this. See if y'all can see, see this. <laughs> so you can hold it still. Probably can't really see this. It goes through t three tests. It, it says um, testing the dock flex test, testing the IC additional tests, and then it says TriStar Hydra okay, VCC main okay. So yeah, um, VCC means main is okay. Uh, okay, so, and, yeah, hey, the thing is, is I'm not that good to diagnose these by what's going on with it. Like, I don't know, like, I wouldn't know the first, I really don't know the first thing right here. I mean, I can open it up. Here's what I can do. I can open it up. Look at the board. And look at basic stuff, like, anything burned up, you know, um, is there anything loose, any components that are loose? If there's no components that are loose, if nothing looks burned up, like, yo, I don't know. I won't, I'm not sure. Um, I have a thermal camera, and I do try to use it. It doesn't help me too much. So, I mean, I do see stuff, like I do see hot areas and things, but I, I don't know how to interpret all that means. I wouldn't mind opening this. I don't like to open these if I don't have to. I'm not sure if I should just try it. I'm, you know, I'm gonna see if it'll get into um, the software mode. I, I mean the DFU mode. Let's see if I can actually just get into DFU mode. sure I don't remember how to get these in the DFU mode if I can get in the DFU mode and it stays solid in the DFU mode then I think we're in business like maybe but I don't think so I don't think it's gonna do that um, let me just double check honestly I forgot I don't do them enough to remember the, the Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. I think I did do it. Alright, let's just see. I'm going to leave it here for a minute. It is actually charging at one amp. It could be the software. It could be the software. Um, that's my, it might be all it is. And that is, that is what it is sometimes. Sometimes it's just it's just the dumb software. We got a, got a bad update, and this stupid thing just does dumb stuff while it's trying to boot, and turns off and all kinds of crap. So that's why I'm not too eager to just crack these things open. So. It is. It's it's actually charging. 
stable, and this is stable right here. If there was a circuit problem, I, we would I think we would still see an issue. We would still see an issue. I think this might be software. Um, this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to let it sit here. And I'm going to let it charge. Because obviously we saw, I don't know if you saw, but I saw it was down to nothing. The battery was down to nothing. So I'm going to let it charge. It seems to be charging. Not that it has to charge. It doesn't have to charge while it's plugged in the computer. And then I'm just going to do an update. I'm just going to do, uh, I'm just going to try and update it. See if I can reinstall it or whatever. Yep, I just fix it. And if I do that, I'll put in, I'll put in the comments if that worked or not. This might be all it is. I should have done this in the first place. This poor guy was like been waiting for a long time. But I, but I did do I did do an initial diagnos uh, diagnostics. I did, and it it did not look like it was. It just yeah, it looked messed up. So, so far it seems pretty stable. Okay, I think it's pretty safe to say that I can plug this into the computer. All right, I think I'm just gonna place on the computer in my bench computer that has iTunes, and just to uh, just try to do an update. Hopefully that'll do it. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna have you guys watch that because that'd be super boring. Well, uh, <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. I mean, even though this video wasn't concise. I was kind of all over the place. It did show us how to do an initial diagnostic. Okay, which is this, right? Just plug it up to your stuff that you know is good. You know? Plug it up to a known good cord and a known good adapter. That's step one. And just kind of see what happens. If it's doing this bull crap, try to put it in DFU mode or restore mode. If because this just this alone tells us a lot of things okay like like right now this tells me a lot of things it's 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 at an amp so it's charging and it's steady it's not fluctuating that's good that means we probably don't have a short at least in the um the like the power the power charging circuit so that's good um we see an image we see the image Obviously, we would have we if we didn't see an image like you know we have maybe have a backlight problem, or an LCD problem, or um, you know just a regular something you know uh, like a, something's wrong with the board. But because we can see the DFU mode or the restore mode on here, that tells us you know a couple things. Um, seems like even though it doesn't boot, you know when these things don't boot, it doesn't that does not mean there's something wrong with the board at all. That's not the first thing you want to go to. That's not what I want to go to. Anyway, man, I was going to show you ZXW and everything. I think you can see ZXW on on other people's channels and stuff. But whatever. Okay. Well, that that ends this. So, but thank you, and maybe somebody watches.